So I was wondering if you knew what lemons were. Uh, I'll put a picture of a lemon right here. Uh, we have an expression in English, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Uh, lemonade is a really yummy drink that you make from lemons. Uh, I'll put a picture of a pitcher of lemonade right here so you know what I'm talking about. Um, as some of you know this morning, I tried to do a live stream uh, and it failed. Uh, the technology didn't work. Um, I still don't know what the problem is, um, uh, but I think that we will figure it out this week and I will be back doing live streams this coming Friday. But I thought since life gave us lemons this morning, I should make lemonade and the lemonade that I will make will be a small lesson on English phrases that you can use to express disappointment. Uh, I think I did a video on this a long time ago, but I thought since I was feeling disappointed, I should do uh, just a little English lesson for you uh, to kind of review the ways to express disappointment. Uh, and then also at the end, I'll give you a few phrases that you can use. Um, when you are disappointed to just kind of relax a little bit. So how do you d express disappointment? Well, this morning when the live stream didn't work, I was frustrated. So if I was to talk in the present tense and if I was to still be frustrated now, the first way you would describe frustration is to say, I'm frustrated. Uh, you might also say, I'm aggravated. You might say, I'm annoyed. Uh, you might say, I'm angry. I'm disappointed. Um, I'm discouraged, or here's one that's a little bit of slang, you could say, I'm bummed out. All of those are different degrees of feeling um, not happy, let's put it that way. Um, some are a little more, uh, I would say, serious than others. If you say, I'm angry, that's fairly extreme. Uh, if you say, I'm frustrated, that's a little bit less so. Um, and discouraged, if you say, I'm discouraged, it's a little more sad than angry. So they all have a, a slightly different meaning, but they would all be phrases that you would use um, if you were frustrated or disappointed. Um, and I used some of them this morning. Um, now, let's say we want to make those phrases a little more, um, uh, how would I say, if you want to emphasize them a little bit more. There's four words in English um, that you can add to those phrases. You can add the words so, very, pretty, and really. So I could say, I'm so frustrated. And that would be probably exactly what I said when I went in the house this morning. I said to Jen, I'm so frustrated. I just wanted to do a live stream. I could have said, I'm, I'm very frustrated right now. Um, I could have said, I'm really frustrated right now. Uh, and I could have also said, I'm pretty frustrated right now. All of those emphasize uh, the feeling that you are expressing. So you can use them with the other sentences too. You could say, I'm so angry, I'm very angry, I'm pretty angry, or I'm really angry. All of those also emphasize the emotion or the feeling that you're having. And even the slang phrase, I'm bummed out, you could say, I'm so bummed out. You could say, I'm very bummed out, I'm really bummed out, um, or I'm pretty bummed out. Um, but maybe you're not feeling those emotions strongly you're just feeling a, them a small amount. You could say, um, I'm a little frustrated. So you could add the little phrase, a little there. So I'm a little frustrated, uh, I'm a little aggravated, I'm a little annoyed, I'm a little bummed out. Um, but then I think to myself, why? Why be frustrated? Why be annoyed? Why be bummed out? Um, what are some phrases that we would say in English uh, just to kind of relax a little bit? And there's a few that I have here. Uh, one is the phrase, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, it's such a simple phrase and it kind of sums up my feeling this morning. Um, I was disappointed, but then very quickly I just thought, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. I've been having a really good string uh, of doing live streams where the technology worked perfectly all the time. Um, and this morning was one of the first times where there was a small glitch. So. Um, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, another phrase you could use is, it's not the end of the world. Um, the end of the world would be a whole lot more horrible uh, than a live stream not working uh, on a Saturday morning. So again, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. It's not the end of the world. Um, another phrase, and this is something Jen mentioned to me, she just said, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, I'm not sure what was broken. I did call my internet service provider because uh, my son and I noticed there were some problems with our network and with our internet connection um, earlier today um, after the live stream. So um, 
to say there's nothing we can do about it. It's just, um, there's no sense me spending the rest of the day being annoyed um, and trying to figure out if I can still do the live stream today. There's nothing I can do about it. I've called uh, my internet service provider. I'm sure they will come out later this week and fix something and that will be great. Um, and then there's another phrase, tomorrow's another day. Um, by the way, I'm not live streaming tomorrow. It's more of a, it's not really a literal phrase. It's more figurative. Like, um, it's not the end of the world and tomorrow's another day. Basically, it means that, you know, by next Friday, hopefully everything is fixed and working perfectly. Um, sometimes when things break, um, it's actually good because you figure out other things that are wrong and you get them fixed. So this was just a little bit of a lesson for you on ways to express frustration, disappointment, and annoyance. Hopefully you learned some new phrases today uh, and hopefully you understood the phrase uh, when life gives you lemons, uh, make lemonade. Um, so I'm not sure why we call bad things lemons. Um, just another little tip for you. Um, when you buy a car that breaks a lot after you buy it, we also call that a lemon. Um, but yes, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So I thought after my initial frustration this morning, I thought, you know what? It's early in the day for me. I don't have a lot else planned for the day. Um, why don't I take the lemons that life handed me this morning uh, and make a little bit of lemonade for me and you? Um, so I get to make a video, which I love doing, uh, and you get to watch a video and learn a little bit more English. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here. Thanks for uh, hanging in there this morning when we were trying to get things working. Thanks for coming and watching this video and learning a few more English phrases. I hope the rest of your weekend goes really, really good. And I really hope to see you Tuesday uh, when I will put out a new video. Uh, and I really hope everything's working by next Friday when I do my next live lesson. Anyways, I missed hanging out with all of you this morning who regularly attend the live streams. Uh, again, hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in the next video.